Hey everyone, my name is Shauna, and today we've got a new look in a new kind of video. I am joined by my Huckles Bales from Whole Live Promise, I guess now, <laughs> Rubber Mat, and we're gonna be unboxing these two Rush Duel battle decks. So these, I recently have gotten into Rush Duel. I mean, I've had the game for the Switch for a while, but I started. I realized the I didn't realize the show was out. Also, I am watching it in English because I always watch. The Yu-Gi-Oh! shows that come out in America dubbed first, and then I watch the sub, so I get the better experience later. Because I realized <laughs> that if you watch the sub first, sometimes the dub is unbearable. But first, we'll start with the Roman deck. So we got the Roman and Asana deck. Roman's deck, I particularly like the style of gameplay it has going for that I've played in the actual game for the Switch. Asana's deck, I haven't actually tried in the game because I'm not far enough yet. I know this deck's kind of weak. I mean, we'll see what cards we get in it. What? Monster Reborn? <laughs> so yeah, I did not look at the deck lists ahead of time because I wanted it to be like as cool and surprising as possible. So yeah, we're just, if you don't know, you can get these on eBay for about like 12 to $15 with free shipping. I got each of these for 15 each from a seller with free shipping, which is pretty nice, pretty good. Like $15 for 40 cards, that's pretty good because from the sellers I see on eBay for singles, most of the singles are capped at $1 minimum. So that's $40 for a deck, not counting the hollows, which this card would probably be $2 minimum for an online seller for singles. So let's just take a look at the cards. Monster Reborn, that's a nice surprise. Then, of course, we got her main monster, at least for the beginning of the show, and then her Esperada smashing superstar or something. <laughs> Ooh, then we have one I have not seen. Gift artist. Oh, gift artist. Gift guitarist. Wait, it's like a play on words for gift and guitarist. Something like that. Rom Romikun Roller. <laughs> two of those. That's nice. Or three? Oh, two. Two of those, which is nice. And the the Beristo. I probably shouldn't try reading the Japanese because I have not brushed up on it. But then we got three of these Psychic Bouncers, which is like the English name. Pretty solid six. Like one of the main weaknesses in her deck from the game that I have so far is that she doesn't have any single offer monsters that were higher than 1700 attack. So these are actually a very nice addition to the deck. You get three of them. Then we get two of these, the... I'm not gonna try to read it, but if your life points are a thousand lower than your opponents, it can attack directly. Another good addition, at least we get only one, but that's fine, is the 1500 four star. We get two separate ones, and those are actually pretty cute and nice designs. We got two of this card. I still can't believe this card would even be used by anyone. You pay 800 life points to do 300 damage to your opponent. That seems like such a waste. But the goal of this deck is to have your life points lower than your opponents at all times until you throw in for the win. Then two more of the costume creator or something. It's like a costume creator, but it's like that's like the English name. Then another one I haven't seen yet. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I can read Japanese, even though I used to be able to read all the... Then we got the classic two-star normal monsters that are psychic that are a big part of the deck. So we get two of each of those, which is nice. Good not to have three because that would be ridiculous. Then we actually get one of the ro oh, Roman Romance Piku. Something like that. You want three of these, so unfortunately we only get one. But that is good. This is another one I have not seen yet. Then we get three of these birds. They are psychic, which kind of matches with the deck's theme of being in psychic, but they're just 1400 defense. They're, they're kind of just throwaways, but not bad. Then you have this card, which I'm pretty sure you tribute to normal monsters on your side of the field to destroy an opponent's level 8 or lower monster. We have the field spell, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I don't know. This is, I don't think it's. And another card that I, I don't recognize. Uh, some of these spells, man, I don't recognize these. Then we have a stop defense, pretty classic card. The higher level of piercing where like multiple of your monsters can do piercing battle damage. This card, if you have two psychic monsters on the field, you can change the battle position of an opponent's face up monster to face down defense position, I believe. This one, you raise your life points by 500 per psychic monster you have when your opponent normal summons a monster. This one, I have no idea. This one, you can lower your opponent's attacking monster by 500 points when you have maybe like a psychic monster in the graveyard or on the field. And this one, I don't know what it is. And then you get a little 
extra card showing some maybe strategies and stuff so yeah overall a pretty interesting deck glad to have the cards monster born was cool you get a holographic legend although this is the only holographic card you get in the entire deck now if you're more familiar with the tcg i will say these cards feel very nice and like firm and stiff and well made kind of like speed duel cards at least the ones i got from when they were first released but felt a little different and more like higher quality not sure if that's still carried over into these but it feels like it so we're gonna clean up the area and we'll move on to the asana deck okay on to the asana deck i actually really like her as a character i think she's <laughs> kind of funny like you know usually the characters who have like a weird attachment to either it's usually an animal or in her case it's an inanimate object that apparently she can talk to it's kind of weird but it's i find it kind of endearing and funny and I genuinely just kind of like her as one of my favorite characters. <sighs> okay, that's an interesting legend we get. A Vorse Raider, which I'm pretty sure it's called Blado Blade Vorse. Blade Blade of Vorse. It's a 1900 Force Art, which if you're familiar with Rush Duels, that is ridiculous. But of course, it's a legend. You can only have one of it in your deck. And then, of course, we've got the big old bad boy, the Maximum Monster. Pretty freaking cool that you get this. I mean, it's expected. If you didn't get this, people would lose their minds. So, yeah, if you're more familiar with TCG, they have a new monster type where it's a Maximum Monster. So, you can summon these monsters on their own, I think. But they have their initial attack points. But if you have all three in your hands, you can special summon them all at once. And it gains... 3500 maximum attack and it counts as one monster with all three effects it's pretty cool don't know how easy it will be to summon in real life <laughs> since they seem to always just draw all three of the cards together then we've got the weird worm build drago guy pretty good but it's one of her also basically her ace monster below the maximum monster then a few others Ooh, these are act they actually include the three key cards that she uses in one duel of her friends they each give her the, her best they eat they each give her one of their best monsters to help support her strategy she uses in the duel which is it's pretty cool that they give you those although i don't know how much it will actually help the deck <laughs> then we got her basic normal monsters that are single offer a little unfortunate that they're only 1900 but maybe they have some other cards that can make up for that then another one. Ooh, that's pretty good, though, with the 2100 defense. You get one of those. Then you get some more of her basic monsters. I haven't seen this one. Actually, I haven't seen these ones in the show at all. We'll have to look up what those do. Then you get her other basic monsters that she uses. Yeah, 1500. They include two of those in this one, which is nice. Some other ones that I'm not too familiar with. Maybe you are. And then just the usual tribute fodder. <laughs> at the end she also gets the tribute to normal monsters destroy level eight or higher monster your opponents out of field it's pretty good ancient telescope i wonder if that does the same thing in the tcg darkness approaches this card is so bad even in the tcg you have to discard two cards from your hand to set a monster on your opponent's field they do include the field spell two of two different ones which is nice this is also a moderately good card i've had used against me in the game and some other traps that I'm not sure what they do. Overall, I will say her deck looks a little weaker than Roman's, partially mainly because of the overall strategy. I'm not sure of what it is. Maybe some of these cards help you get your maximum cards together, but overall you do get the really strong Bo Blade of Osa, Horse Raider. I like to just probably will duel my brother with these maybe or something. Because obviously, <laughs> I doubt there would be anyone else at your locals playing Rush Duel. It's also just kind of for fun to collect them. If you really like the show like I do. And I guarantee you, all you people who think this is coming to America, it's not. <laughs> They've had like three years of steady print runs of these cards. And we've only gotten one Rush Duel card in America. And it was a part it was like an online tournament participation card. So, and it's terrible. <laughs> So yeah, 
That's the Asana and Roman unboxing. I am planning on getting more Rush School cards to show off on the... I Well, I didn't really get them to show off on the channel. I just got them for my own personal collection. But I thought, why not make a short little video on them since I do unboxings for Japanese-related media. And I, if you didn't know, I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm not very interested in the TCG as it stands. I mean, yeah, I wanted some of the new cards from Azure Overlord. But am I paying $100 for an SP Little Knight? $30 for a Diabella Star, Diabella Star, whichever you want to call her? No, I'm not. So I'll stick with my little Rush Duel stuff and have fun with that. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. I wish you the best of luck in all your maybe card collecting adventures. We'll be opening some packs too. I am sorry, I bumped it with my chin. <laughs> we'll be opening some packs too. I'm planning on getting some of those as well. Won't really be any of the newer stuff. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Farewell, my friends. Here we are from the editing room with some final notes. I did do some duels with these decks and this one's definitely way more powerful. Asana's, as I expected, gets held back from those three anime related cards where she used three of her friends' best high level monsters in her deck. Definitely some dead draws in there. Only they all can do pretty good effects on their own, but they just they can get in the way pretty easily because they don't synergize with the rest of her deck. Roma's deck is pretty good. Hard to say since she's going only against Sana for now, but this deck is definitely pretty weak and you'll need to upgrade it with some stuff. Her deck is just overall really good. If you like Roman's deck, it's a good start. Comes with some good stuff to start. There are obviously in bullet decks, there's some dead cards in the spells and traps that kind of work or are kind of generic, but you definitely want to look for other things. But overall, these are actually a great way to start and... Also, something I found out from looking it up is they're each a 40 card deck with a one extra card being the legend card. So any of these battle decks can come with, I think, either one of six random legend cards. So obviously Monster Reborn and Vorse Raider are two of them. Don't know the other four. So yeah, I'm really enjoying these decks and they're actually quite fun to duel as is. But unfortunately, they were not built to be balanced when facing each other, I would say. This deck just definitely feels <laughs> very, very just weak. It cannot, it can barely, if, if you know, like Roman's deck isn't actually quite powerful. It's pretty mid-range and kind of lucky at times to win. She just could not. I, seven and one. <laughs> this was seven, seven and one, one and seven. That was their record against each other. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another Rush Duel video.